we are on day five of prep. I think yesterday I cried a little bit, I had an emotional day, I was tired, and vice versa. I'm tired today, slept like shit, low body fat, lots of thermogenics in the system, very, very normal, but it's all good. Um, I'm really happy, really, really happy today just because honestly, I don't have to go to the gym. I know that sounds really bad, <laughs> but it's kind of like training right now is kind of like, oh, when you can't train till failure and you're kind of just going in there and just kind of just getting the pump, pushing glycogen into the muscle as much as you can, whatever glycogen we've got left. It's just not that fun. Yesterday was good because I just socialized a little bit and really backed off just one set of everything. Um, but otherwise, that is it. I'm just happy to have a full rest day. I even beat my alarm this morning. Um, I was just like, fuck it, I'll give myself an extra hour, get up at kind of um, quarter past six instead of quarter past five because I don't have to do many steps today. I only got to do 5,000 steps, so I'm literally going to go out now, get in two and a half thousand, and then I'll accumulate the other two and a half thousand throughout the day. Very naturally, very easy. Um, so we are really on just chill mode, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited just to chill. So that's literally it. Weighed in this morning. Camera's very wrong. Ronky? Ronky. Weighed in this morning at 78 kilos. That's another six pounds down. Not six pounds, yeah. Uh, 600 grams, 600 grams overnight again. So the start of peak week, which was Saturday, which you saw was day one, was 80.1. And we are now eight, uh, 78, so we are two kilos down in one, two, three, four, five days. Whew, oh baby, oh baby. There you go, it's all there. So yeah, that's it. shit. We're just having the morning health sups. We got kidney from Revive, turmeric, magnesium. This is just the morning health sups. Crit oil, boom. From Full Bore in the UK who have been absolutely amazing. And we've got some vitamin D. Vitamin D and K2, vitamin B extract or vitamin B complex, vitamin C, heart, heart health, digestive enzymes, multivitamin and curcumin. So obviously a lot of these I take because obviously knives everywhere a lot of these I take just because I'm assisted so we are putting a lot more stuff into our system that is um, effect gonna affect our health so we just want to make sure that we are taking the supplements that are going to help prevent and look after that that damage that I might be probably am putting on my body so that's literally it anyway guys I'm just gonna get the rest of this water in which has got hydromax and half a scoop of EAAs and then the other 1.5 litres I'll come back when I have from my walk and that'll be um, electrolytes, glutamine, creatine and the other scoop of EAAs. And we got some coffee sat waiting for us. So anyway guys, I'm going to crack on with the day. I'll check in with Cam in about an hour's time. We might be adding in food today, we might not. I don't know if we're gonna add carbs in today or if we're gonna do it Thursday, Friday. I can imagine we're gonna do it today. So we're gonna add in food today and tomorrow and then baseline on Friday and then get on stage on Saturday. I don't know. So we'll see what boss man says today. Very pleasant 2000 steps. I'm just looking out because I'm butt naked, like really butt naked, like the schlong and all. And there's all the apartment buildings opposite that can just see me but I don't care because this is my home so I'll stand here butt naked for all I fucking care I think we're okay but anyway I am excited to get rid of all this body hair because if you haven't noticed I'm pretty that's pretty fucking hairy I am a hairy guy look at that that is disgusting and I hate body hair I've actually after the Alicante show I've booked in to start laser on my back because I didn't know that you can't have laser three fingers close to tattoos. I've got a lot of tattoos. So the only place that I can really get lasered is my back. But I'm going to start that process. But 
The other benefit, obviously, of stripping off this body hair, probably tomorrow, because Bailey's going to help me, um, is that I will be 5% leaner again. And then when you get a tan, you'll be another 5% leaner. So, however I look in checking pictures right now, which I'm going to do for you, send to Cam and see if we get to eat today. Um, and then obviously I need to make sure I send all the last four days of clips to Imad, who is going to edit them all for me and we'll get part one of that vlog out and it'll already be out when you see this so let's do check-in pictures well let's get in the shower let's get freshened up a little bit let's do check-in pictures and let's go to the coffee shop because routine right all right guys we are back at the local um cam happy with checking images and things like that i will post them here um very flat very hairy very tired still but um we're in a good position, there's a lot more detail, there's a lot more lines there, and obviously when we add in the food, the, we're gonna fill the muscle out, so then that's gonna kind of push the muscle against the skin tighter. So it's gonna just make everything look a lot poppier, a lot crisper, it doesn't look as deflated. Um, we are trying to work out when to add the food in because the show's a little bit unorganized. We've heard mixed messages that it might be a two day show, so we need to try and have a good condition for two days, which is very hard to do. Hence why Cam was like, right, we'll start adding in carbs tomorrow, that being Thursday. But we've just heard as well that it might just be a one day show. So we're trying to work out when that, when the show is, if it's gonna be the Saturday and Sunday or just the Saturday. I hope it's just the Saturday, um, but we'll see. So this might be a very low food day and a very normal rest day, or we might be eating some food, so we're trying to get some info now. But in the meantime, we're actually just here, updating some images um, on some welcome packs uh, for the team and some discovery call uh, information guides for anyone that books a consultation call with myself. They'll get an email sent to them and that will be what we're going to be covering in the call and things like that. I'm just making some, I just got some new photo shoot images a couple of weeks ago, so I'm just updating those, making it all a bit fresh and updated. Yeah. All right, guys, so just um, busy morning, busy morning. Um, it looks like the show is on Saturday. Um, we're gonna see, we're gonna wait and see, obviously at registration on Friday, but we are gonna start loading food today. Just waiting for Cam to give me through the macros for today. Um, just had that consultation call, amazing. Team Spain is growing, um, and now I'm literally just getting a guy signed up, uh, signed up, uh, one of the guys who joined the team yesterday, getting him all set up, ready to go right now. So, obviously we've got his, his tracker, everything like that building out his meal plan here. So his meal plan's all done and dusted. Got a training day and a rest day meal planner. And then we've got his training week one, training week two, and all the other cool stuff in between. So we're getting all that built out for him right now. So yeah. Whew. So yeah. <laughs> Um, what else have I got to do today? I've got to do some other little bits, but we're gonna go wrap up a little bit here, then head home and we'll break down the food. Okay, the game plan for today, team, is obviously we are adding the food back in. We got the text from Cami Boy and we are going for it. So obviously aiming to peak for Saturday, to the game plan. So today we are running 200 protein 175 carb, 40 fat, um, obviously pulling the protein down ever so slightly. We don't need protein at this phases right now. It's just gonna slow the digestion down of these carbs pretty much. So we just want everything to be absorbed really nicely. I'm not gonna be changing the foods I eat. You're gonna see all that now. It's pretty much the same food as I always eat, but just increasing the portion sizing slightly. We're gonna do eight grams of salt. So I'll weigh, weigh out all the salt today for the day and just drizzle it throughout the meals. Seven liters of water. And I'm going to update Cam with some pictures around 300 grams of carbs in, uh, which will probably be just before or just after my sports massage. So, yeah, guys, let's go. Let's go. Let's get meal one underway. You can't beat it. Diary CEO podcast, getting the meals all set up, ready to go. But we've got, um, obviously, 
we got a salt intake to hit. So, I just weighed out the salt for the day. So we've got, oh, I think it was eight grams, eight grams of salt today. So that is all just here. And I'll just sprinkle this throughout my meals throughout the day, just spread them out equally. Um, seven liters of water, I think I already said that. And just waiting for the toaster to pop because we got two slices of gluten-free bread. And then we got two slices of gluten-free bagel thins as well. I'm not gluten, I'm not intolerant, but they're actually just really nice, so. <laughs> um, so yeah. And then we've got 100 grams of chicken, 150 grams of egg whites, and we just got some peas and zucchini in there as well. I'll keep the veg in today, just reduce it ever so slightly, um, just because it does help with digestion having that veg in, um, and it's, that's it, and we're gonna get good micronutrients from it, and um, there's no point of changing anything now, everything's working extremely well, so. Don't change the food sources, don't change anything along those lines. Just, um, that was sick, right? Um, just keep doing what we're doing. Make sure we eat the foods that digest well, and we're good, so let's get this meal done. All right, ladies and gents, there we have it, meal one. The glorious eggs, scrambled eggs, chicken, and bread. Um, what I'll do is I'll put up all the macros of this meal on the screens, or all the meals throughout the day. Um, let's just move this salt, so I've got that for the day, super easy, rice is ready for the next meal, so yeah guys, that is it, um, that is going to be those two, bunch of slices of bread, chicken, eggs, egg whites, and we're going to dive in, so yeah, yeah baby, let's fill this rig. What's going on buddy, how are we doing? Do not apologize, it's absolutely fine mate. Obviously going into this week, we just wanna make sure images, everything like that's a lot higher standard. Um, but otherwise man, it's been, been a crazy two weeks um, or a crazy week of being on the field and things like that, so absolutely fine. But the biggest thing for us mate is nothing fancy, it's just to get back into routine as quickly as possible. So for obviously we know that for you, um, just getting back, like again, you said straight away, where are we going? Right, tell me you're on prep without telling me you're on prep. Oh, feels, oh I love it though. Put a blankie on, we're good. Oh, there you go guys. Um, meal two, we're about to dive into this bad boy. This is 100 grams of chicken. Again, not loads of um, protein. 135 grams of raw weight rice, uh, just white jasmine rice. Um, obviously you saw the salt being poured out, so we just drizzled a little bit of that on. Then we just got some broccoli florets, is it florets? Some broccoli florets, maybe like six of them, um, and a pickle, and that's literally it. Um, pepper, a little bit of Frank's Red Hot Sauce, um, and that's literally it, so super, super easy. Pepper's really good, uh, like black pepper, helps with digestion, and obviously we want to make sure that we get that um, obviously pink Himalayan salt in there as well for the 8 grams a day. Uh, but that's it guys, nice and easy. I'm just making sure when you do eat the meals, do you enjoy them, you chill, you relax, you let it digest well, let the body absorb those nutrients correctly without being in a stress state. Um, and just let the body chill, relax, enjoy. I'll listen to a bit of the world's number one matchmaker. This is something that I need. Uh, Diary of a CEO. Very, very good. Um, I've never heard of this guy before, but it's good. So, Diary of a CEO. Everyone knows, hopefully. Fucking sick podcast series, so. Eat and watch. Alright, guys, we are in with the man himself. Wherever he is. <laughs> We're in with Toby. Um, I've seen Toby now for almost, it, well, might as well just say two years because it is going to be two years. Yeah, every week for two years, I would say. So, the man is looking after me as always, um, but over the, this, I covered it last time with, um, with Jake as well, but what's the focus for today's session, man? Um, we're going to go through any uh, tight spots or things that are restricting you in movement to get into your poses and the positions that you want. Um, and then we're going to go across some muscle lines as well, work a little bit into some of the striations of the muscles, see if we can get a little bit more definition from you in the last couple of days running up to this stage. Sick, easy peasy. Easy. So yeah, that is it. And um, yeah, obviously with all of Toby's stuff um, and everything in his company, we'll always link it in descriptions and stuff. So yeah, let's get a, let's get a rub down. Oof, 
Josie. <laughs> Alright guys, we just had um, Toby's flush massage. Feel good for it. Feeling really, really good. Uh, feeling way more alive, which is amazing. Um, so this meal, the fun meals begin, right? So this is all carbs. There is no protein. There is very minimal fat in this meal as well, if my fitness power would play ball game with me. I think I need to charge my phone. Does anyone notice that? My fitness power is just really fucking slow lately. Um, this is a hundred grams of flour rice, which is the Dubai version of cream of rice. Um, and it is 400 grams of frozen raspberries. Again, guys, I'm eating exactly the same foods as I normally eat. It digests well. We cannot be having fun with food. We've got two years of growing after this where we can enjoy eating out, but in the meantime, we have a job to do. Um, so this is just all about I love this food. You know that I love this food all year round. So, so it's just 100 grams of cream of rice, uh, flour rice, and 400 grams of frozen berries. So it's 126 grams of carbs, 3.8 grams of fat, and 10 grams of protein. All the macros will be up on the screen. I'm gonna have this meal. Then I'm going to go and get my feet. I'm gonna get a pedicure. I'm gonna get my eyebrows threaded to get all pretty for the stage, um, and then. I will come back and I will send Cam some check-in images as well. Cam wanted check-in images when we've had about 300 grams of carbs today. So the first meal was 60 grams of carbs, then we had 100 grams of carbs, then we got another 120 grams of carbs. So yeah, it's pretty much just over 300, 300 grams of carbs. Um, is that, yeah, yeah, pretty much 300. So two, yeah, pretty much 300, just over 300 grams of carbs. So I'll send images over to him um, after that. And that is it guys, so I'm gonna go enjoy this bad boy. We've also got the little bit of salt on there coming out of our collection of salt for today. And we've got cinnamon, and we know cinnamon is very good for insulin sensitivity. It tastes fucking amazing, is the most important thing. And let's go. And before we do any of that, we gotta eat it with a baby spoon. You just enjoy every second of it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, baby. And it has to be cold. Cold cream of rice is the one. The day just flies by. The day just flies by. So we've um, gone through four waters today. They're all refilled ready for tomorrow. So four of these ones are 1.5, 1.5. So it works out at six liters. And then obviously I'm gonna probably have the liter now. I've already got 700 mil here. So it's just over seven liters of water today, which is the same as I normally have. But I just thought I'd defend myself and say that I have seven liters of water a day. Um, so that's check, nothing changed. We are on the evening setup. You know how the evening setup works. 7 p.m. rule. We got the guys on Bodybuilding and Bollocks podcast. Boom. And then we've got the evening setup. Bang, bang, bang. You know how it works. Just podcast. And just chill, make up these last couple of meals, and that's it. Well, it's not 7 p.m., but we'll have a meal now at half six and then my last meal will be ready about kind of half eight and that'll be it so i will show you those meals now and i'm just gonna sit tonight put a movie on chill because because i don't have to get up crazy early in the morning and things like that because i don't have cardio at the moment i'm just enjoying i naturally wake up at five but i just chill there and lie for an hour and just relax and things like that so i'm enjoying that all right guys so we've got in the homemade pancakes. This is definitely gonna stay in for like off seasons as well, but it's absolutely a bomber. Don't know if you can see it very well there. But it's super easy to make. I'll probably do a video on it to be fair. I think I've already done it. All I do is literally get a shaker cup. I pour in X amount of oats. So right now there's 60 grams of oats in there. 150 grams of egg whites. I use some flavor drops from my protein. Um, I put in, obviously I eat a lot of fruit. You know I eat a lot of fruit. So there's, 430 grams of mixed berries, of strawberries and blueberries. I'll put in half of that bag into the shaker, shake it all up. It's frozen, so it does make a difference. So when you pour it into the pan, it kind of melts. And then the other half just goes onto the other side. And then all I do is I just get a cup and scoop away protein. So I'm using Strom's whey protein at the moment. I've got it in batter bird cake and raspberry ripple. Um, and then all I do is put it into a cup, mix it all up, pour it on the top, and that's it. So it's like pancake and syrup. So super easy. And then that's that meal. 
So obviously macros for the homemade pancakes are all here on the screen. And then we've got, so we've got for this amazing carb up, we've got 100 grams of oats in here, um, 400 grams of frozen blueberries, one banana on top, cinnamon, there's cinnamon on top of there as well. And exactly the same, you can see the, um, the sludge, the whey sludge. Can you see it moving? The whey sludge is on there as well. Um, and then I've got to add on the rice cakes now. So, nice and simple, uh, rice cakes, just plain rice cakes. I'm gonna add in six of those. Boom. And then all you do with these is that you can dunk them. So you just scoop, scoop the oats, scoop the fruit, and that's it for it. And there you have it guys, that is last meals. We might add on a little bit more cinnamon because I do like my cinnamon. Let's just add on a little drizzle. Nice little dash. And there we have it, ladies and gents. So that is it, ladies and gents. I am going to curl up now and enjoy these meals, uh, put a movie on, and I will see you in the morning when we will be two days out tomorrow. So it's Thursday, Friday, show's on Saturday. So whew, getting close, baby, getting close. So, oh, these are blue light blockers, by the way. So they cut out any blue light. So it makes your eyes nice and heavy. Good if you're on the screen all day. Amazon, 20 pounds. Um, so yeah, good night guys. Thank you for tuning in to the little bit of a, the first day of carb up. So let's see what we weigh tomorrow. Let's see how we look tomorrow. And Cam will decide what the game plan is there. Good night. See you in the morning. Good morning everybody. Literally just woken up. Had a couple of like good parts of the night where I slept really well. Um, yeah, we actually had some deep dreams, which was nice, but it's a little bit foggy out there this morning. <laughs> it's been like that, so. Um, obviously mornings are really chilled now. I don't have to get up and do cardio and things like that. So I'm going to try and put you down and show you kind of just vacuums. I don't know if the lighting's going to be great here. Actually, it might be a rough breakdown if I get in the mirror of just what I do every morning. Just five sets of failure. So it's vacuums. So this is literally where we just draw in the abdominals. So all I'll do is five sets every morning and hold till I can't hold any longer. So it looks something along the lines of, sorry, you can tell I've lost weight, right? Don't want my knob to hang up, so it'll be very simple here. And you would normally just hold that as long as you can. It's quite hard to multitask, but yeah. So I'm just gonna do two more sets of that. <laughs> two more sets of that, and then I'll weigh in. I will go to the toilet, <laughs> and I'll weigh in, and then we'll crack them on the day. Oh, right, we are a little bit more alive now. We went for a short walk, um, and I will post up this morning's check-in pictures here. And obviously this is us being two days out, technically, so. Thursday, Friday, show is Saturday. So yeah, that is that. Um, otherwise guys, there's nothing too much to report. Very, very happy with the, um, very, very happy with the look this morning. Obviously, well, I sent pictures over to Cam yesterday afternoon and I was like, oh my fucking God, like they look shit. Um, but that was obviously with five liters of water. I had three meals in me. Um, I just had Toby do my flush work. Um, everything like that so yeah so obviously the body looks a little bit different and it's gonna change like hourly like at this point um, so yeah that's pretty much it I always say nothing to report but there is I should go a little bit more in depth with things um, so I woke up this morning weighed in and I weighed in at um, 78.1 so we pushed in an extra 
I don't know, like 2,000 calories yesterday almost, and I only gained 100 grams today. So very, very good position to be in. Um, like I said, the check-in pictures will all be here, the little videos. Um, so the plan of action today is I sent those over to Cam. We are running 200 protein today, 750 carb, 575 yesterday, we're running 750 carb today, uh, 40 fat, 8 grams of salt, uh, seven liters of water the same and we definitely need to push harder now steps are the same so nice and low and then obviously I'm going in for a pump session this morning so we're just going to get in um, pump session this morning so it's going to be just weight training but just two reps in reserve nothing too crazy just to get a bit of a pump and that'll be it guys and he literally just said time to eat man we need this you'll come to life and a lot better you're still flat but there's room to push so guys, let's do it. We're going to sort out the first meal and things like that, bump it up a little bit, <laughs> and I will head to the coffee shop. Alright guys, so, at the local, um, there's one thing that I'll always say, is when you kind of go into peak weeks or anything along those lines, honestly, keep your routine exactly the same, as best you can, um, just to... A lot of the time it's to keep your stress levels low, it's gonna keep things, your, your same meals at the same sort of time, obviously all you're doing is increasing portion sizing when we're kind of um, driving this carb load up a little bit. So I told you the numbers and stuff like that. Um, I'm actually just still working out a couple of meals currently, but this first meal is gonna be the pre-workout meal as always. It's not really changing, obviously before it was 50 grams of cream of rice, it was 10 grams of dark chocolate, whatever it was. So today, we got this beautiful feast. Boom, so we've got, um, I'll keep it here because it's sexy, right? And I made it really nice. 100 grams of cream of rice, rice flour, Dubai style. 10 grams of 90% dark chocolate, one scoop of whey protein, 100 grams of blueberries, one banana, and 135 grams of fresh raspberries. Um, obviously yesterday again, we got eight grams of salt today. So same, just sprinkled a little bit of the eight grams that I weighed out this morning, put it on there. Um, some cinnamon and some flavor drops, and that is it. So we're gonna enjoy this. I've actually got a new client to set up as well. Um, nothing too crazy today, just pulling back a little bit. Bailey will be over later to help shave my body. We'll put a tan on um, tomorrow, and it's all good, man, it's all good. So we're going to a training session today. I won't film it just because I just kinda wanna get in catch up with people, have a little bit of a pump, um, and then posing with um, John up afterwards as well. So I'll probably take the camera in for that to be fair. So I'm gonna crack on with this guys and I'll see you in a bit. I kind of want to um, explain a little bit more obviously why the food's gone up a little bit. So obviously I only put on 100 grams overnight and that was almost by just over doubling my food intake. My body is like a furnace right now. It's very flat, it's very depleted, and it's just absorbed those nutrients so, so well. Um, and obviously from the check-in images this morning, Cam's saying like, we're still flat. We need to fill that muscle out more. It needs more muscle glycogen, so it looks fuller, rounder, poppier, and it pushes against the skin tighter and harder. Um, so hence the reason, obviously, more food intake today as well. So I think, um, here. I'll put it here, the total calories and stuff like that for today, because I don't really worry about the calorie intake, I just care about the macro breakdown. So the total calories and the macro breakdown are here. And before I crack on the work, I'll give you five more seconds to look at it. Look at this dude. Luckily we're getting it all fixed, we're gonna get all the hair off us. Filthy, filthy animal, right. Chicken, I cooked up the rice earlier. We're going in for a big, big post-workout meal. Uh, training was good, it was really nice to get a pump and feel good. Um, posing with John, last posing session with him until next week. And then we prep for Alicante. So we're already, we're already thinking ahead. We have got, guys, 180 grams of raw weight rice. Doesn't sound a lot, but it's a lot. And then we've got 120 grams of chicken. And we've also got in there, of course, we've got in some greens because we need to get those micronutrients in, no matter what. It's gonna help with digestion, help with kind of absorbing different nutrients from food sources as well. So make sure you get your veg in. Uh, so we just literally just got 
pan full of broccoli, florets, and some zucchini. So I'll show you that. We've obviously dished out some of our salt for the day into the meal. A little bit of pepper and a little bit of a meat seasoning, which is nice. Um, and that's literally it, guys. Super, super easy. Um, yeah. So, no excuse not to get this vlog done. Um, use the iPhone. Just wrapped up a anterior flush through session with Jake. Feel good, and then I sent Cam some check-in pictures um, pretty much straight after that. Um, he said, send me check-in images, video clips, um, when I've had a pretty much around 400 grams of carbs. So I sent him some images that like, I think I've had 390 grams of carbs. See what he says. Um, I saw him in the gym today. We pretty much kind of got a game plan for tomorrow. We'll probably pull the food a little bit lower tomorrow, see how we look in the morning. We'll start to pull the water a little bit and we start to dry out um, tomorrow. So yeah, I'm just taking a nice slow walk to the barber shop and then I am getting de-haired. So get my back all shaved, get my legs all shaved, everything all shaved. Obviously we want to do this 24 hours before the tan. Um, and then tomorrow, got a really chilled, chilled day. I'm going to sit and just do some work in the morning. Nice relaxed one. Emma and Bailey are nice enough just to uh, take me to registration and help tan me. Uh, so we'll head over there about one o'clock tomorrow. So yeah, you're not going to see much today. Besides some food, a haircut, and some noisy fucking cars. All right, guys, this gorgeous man here about to sort me out. It's been a while, D-Hair. This man isn't just a barber. I'll put all his details in the YouTube stuff. Anything to buy, just anything that you want to start business-wise, it doesn't matter what it is. Message him. Say, oh, not, not yet, not yet. <laughs> we are a new man. Look at this bad boy, fresh fade. Don't even know if that got me. Let me try again. Fresh fade. We're just getting another meal in. This meal is going to be the same as yesterday. 100 grams of cream of rice, 400 grams of frozen blueberries, and four rice cakes for dunking and eating. Because we got to get 750 grams of carbs in today, guys. So. There is 100 grams of rice flour, cream of rice, just with water. We've obviously got our salt, a little bit of salt in there. 400 grams of frozen raspberries. Honestly, this is just such a simple, easy meal. You can obviously add in whey protein to increase your protein intake as well. Um, and then four rice cakes where we can just dunk and go. And we got some cinnamon and some my protein flavor drops in there as well. And that's literally it. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna jump on a Zoom call with Bailey and catch up with her for a second, even though she's just down the road. And then I've got to shave my upper body, guys, and then we'll go in for those last meals. So I'll see you for those last meals. All right, guys, what is going on? So we are all shaved up. It's a little bit cool. That's pretty sick lighting, isn't it? Oh, we're all shaved up. It's a little bit later than I want it to be. I'm not even in the camera. It's a little bit later than I want it to be, but it's all good. And we do have to double up on these meals now, so. It's exactly the same meals as yesterday. So we've got the homemade pancakes, which is going in. So the homemade pancakes are going to be on the screen just here. Oops. They're going to be 70 grams of oats, 200 grams of egg whites. We've got 430 grams of blueberries and raspberry combo, one banana and one scoop of protein. Obviously just all mixed together, put in a frying pan, make into a big pancake. And it turns out, Half of the fruit goes on the side, the other half goes in the pancake into a shaker. Shake it up, pour it in a frying pan, and then that's it. Super easy. Then we've got this bad boy. This is intense. I'm going to bring you down to this angle quickly and show you. Um, this meal. There is here. We've got on this meal 100 grams of oats. Um, obviously, we've got the salt in the meals as well. Oh, phone telling me to go to sleep. <laughs> we've got the salt in the meals, obviously. We've got ugh, 
400 grams of frozen raspberries in there, three and uh, blueberries, sorry, and then we've got 300 grams of raspberries, one whole banana, one scoop of protein paste, and then we've got seven rice cakes, six around the edge for dunking, one broken up in the middle. Um, oh, so yeah, guys, those are the last two meals. I'm gonna sit and enjoy. And I will see you tomorrow morning at one day out. Today was the 700 and something odd carb day. Full-time job, busy day as well. Have a good night, guys. And I will see you.